Hey guys, it's Megan here. So I just got finished with my new moon reading since today, February 23rd, starts the new moon cycle for the month. And I just got done reading mine and I am extremely pumped because it's pretty much telling me, hey, you are going in the route that you're supposed to be. And you are, you just need to be a little bit more bold and get yourself out there. So that way the universe can, you know, reward you with this kind of stuff. So I'm pretty excited to see how this month will go for me. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to do a couple more moon, new moon readings for you guys. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so first up on my list is Ashley, and I have already shuffled the deck. I will just need to clear the deck, so I'll go ahead and do that real fast. Okay, so before we get started, I am also doing the new moon readings from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. So that is the deck that I'm using. Ooh, that's that way. All right. It's a seven card spread. So oh, that's awesome. go ahead and go over the spread. So this is what the spread looks like. That's how I have it laid out on here. So the first one, which you have seahorse spirit, and this card is reversed. So this means it's a protection message. And this one involves survival, money, tangible assets, and work. And that's Card 53, protection. Are you holding on to judgment? Sure that your perspective is the only way, correct way to look at things. There are as many perspectives as there are creatures in the sea. And when the seahorse spirit appears, you are reminded to detach the experience so you can view it from a more than one angle. Pay attention to your hidden beliefs and how they affect the way you think feel and act are you being fair to all involved or do you need to take a step back perhaps the drama you have been drawn into is your own whatever the actions of either others excuse me your challenge is to be non-reactive and not take their words and behaviors personally their turbulence may have a little to do with you, so remain neutral until you know more. Your perspective may be quite different at, in time. So that in, was involving um, money, tangible assets, and work. The second card it is related to intimate relationships, family dynamics, friendships, and your tribe. And you got the coyote spirit and it is a protection message and that is 16. sometimes a goal is enticing and alluring that you lose your footing in the pursuit you begin to fixate on capturing this prize whether it be an opportunity you have always wanted a relationship that elusive someone or the promise of that big break coyote spirit warns you that the trickster energy seducing you now will yield nothing but disappointment and unnecessary heartache if you let yourself be fooled 
Great Spirit wants you to be wants the best for you. So when your plans go topsy turvy, know the Kayat Spirit is present and protect and bless you. Listen to her gentle warning not to take the world too seriously or become too attached to the form of timing of your desire. Something better is beckoning. If you learn, le if you learn, if you learn your lessons and lighten your heart, it will not be long before you can see the crooked, crooked through the path that you may have been. You were on the right one all along. Okay. And that one is number two, which is relationships, family, friendships, and tribe. So number three is um, your personal power, self-worth, and how you show up in the world. And you've got fox spirit. And it is right side up, so it's an oracle message. And you've got 27. Be alert now, the for the fox spirit has appeared. And you are meant to move swiftly. Let this clever spirit draw out your creativity as you adjust to a rapidly change, rapidly changing circumstances, with resilience, grace, and astrosinus. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Fox spirit helps you to think on your feet using your best judgment and wits to help you slip into an advantage situation. Now is not the time to hesitate, but time for swift action of the mind. A time to think outside the box and notice that many of the many ways in which you might make a move. Aware of your surroundings and always clear on what you deserve and wish to co-create. Trust your cleverness, guided by the fox spirit, will serve you well. And that's three. Four is related to deeper connections in life, healing past patterns, and support for overall well-being and happiness. And you got the bobcat spirit. It's a little blurry. The bobcat moves fiercely and mere mistressly. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk tonight. And when the bob bobcat spirit appears to you, she will bring a powerful reminder that not all things in life can be explained or understood through the power of intellect. Trying to figure out things, find logical explanations, and pr or predict on what will happen on based on reason and facts will not provide you with the certainty and comfort you seek. Bobcat asks you to trust in the great mystery and let the secrets of the universe reveal themselves to you through direct experience. Allow your ver vision to slip into a soft focus and you will see between the lines and observe what has been hidden there all along. Bobcat spirit helps you know intimately the pulse of the divine wor in the world. Trust in the wisdom and revelations that come to you. Yet know that understanding may not come as you would like it to. What you experience through your heart and intuition, co which comes to you as a voice of inner knowing, that's what your intuition is. So that little voice in the back of your head saying, oh, don't do this, listen to that. It's your intuition talking. What you experience through your heart and intuition, which comes to you as a voice in your inner knowing, will guide you as you accept the secrecy of the woven into the fabric of existence. No matter what, the appearance of the bobcat spirit is a sign that you are being called to trust, even when you revealed that does not agree with your need for intellectual certainty. And that is the bobcat spirit, which is four, five communication, being heard, owning your voice, and how you say who you are to others. And you got the stag spirit. The rest of the cards are oracle, by the way, just so you know. Whether or not you have set your intention to lead, 
you may have found yourself suddenly called to step up to the fro forefront of your life. Stag spirit is a reminder that now is the time to heed the call to be sure, strong, and compassionate. Others will look to you and you have it within you to see through the eyes of the stag spirit and walk with confidence as you take on your responsibilities that are yours. Now the model in integrity, goodness, I cannot talk. In all that you do and in your relationships, be willing to see that the best part in others is that so that your compassionate heart keeps you on the right path. Stag Spirit wants you to know that your responsibilities now are for yourself too. For you lear are learning and developing new skills. The best in you is coming into the view as you step forward with strength, knowing that the Spirit supports you as you compassionately take the lead. You are a model of, for transformation now, sharing your experience, strength, and hope with others so that you may grow and discover their best selves too. What, you, what a gift you are. Stay humble, authentic, and walk, for, and walk your talk for this is how a wise leader leads. Six is imagination, version, and creativity. And you got the brown bear spirit. Okay. So there's a time to act and a time to focus your attention and patience strategic strategically. The arrival of the brown bear spirit signals that you are best served by foregoing hard work toward your goals at this moment and instead taking the time out to meditate or just take a nap and refresh yourself and begin planning what you can co-create next. Come to know that the lay of the land as you contemplate and imagine what you might do to a vast source space of possibility before you and begin forming a plan. Remember, sleep allows for dreaming and rest allows for clear-headed strategy. How might you become a person of how you wish to be the experience, whatever your heart desires? Insights will arise as you explore the possibilities of becoming envisioning and begin envisioning your plan. Knowing what you want will ensure that you use your energy wisely in the days ahead. Be patient at this time. Relax, be calm, and peaceful so that you can recharge. The call for this action will come later. And then the last card is intuition spiritually and relationships to a higher power. And you got the starfish spirit. Do, 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 do. Stretched out on the beach, the starfish opens fully in the rays of the sun to the powerful of potential. As you look out toward the horizon, do you open up to the infinite, infinite possibility? The spirit of the source opportunities beyond your wildest imaginations and ensures endless possibilities are available. At this time, starfish spirit urges you to stretch out past your limits of your everyday perception and comfort zone to dream a bigger of bigger things and imagine with greater hope and faith for miraculous potential and shining down on you. Feel it, bask it in, and open yourself to be fulfilled with inspiration. This is a very fortunate sign that the starfish spirit has come to remind you of the infinite potential. So that, my dear, is your new moon reading. That's pretty much what you're going to be expecting this whole next month. So I hope that helped you out and I will talk to you later. All right. So next person on my list is Christy. So I've already shuffled. I'm going to clear and we'll go ahead and get started again.
So the first card, we'll go back over it and go through the decks again. So we got, um, the first one is survival money, tangible assets and work. And you got badger spirit, which is awesome. Cause I also got that in my reading too, to myself. So number four, and this is an Oracle message. Badger spirit rejoices at your persistence and commitment to what is true for you. Whatever you seek, your tendency and faith in your partnership with the spirit is paying off and the results will soon collapse into form in, into form in your world. The gift of the badger spirit is the survey of taking risk now and being courageous, fearless, and bold will yield wonderful, wondrous results. This is the time to harness your will and apply it consistently into the pursuit of your dreams. Now know that no matter what the temporary outer conditions, you will manifest your desires in divine timing and will form that spirit damn's best for you. Badger spirit says that you will have what it takes to what to get what you want. So assert yourself. Be fearless and bold, shining your light and uh, as you as your purpose calls you into the world. New relationships are also going to give you the green light now. Don't be afraid to make the first move. Badger spirit loves to, your brave and mighty heart. So the second card, this one goes into intimate relationships, family dynamics, friendships, and your tribe. And you've got koala spirit. And this one is upside down, which symbolizes protection message. 35. Okay. Are you feeling uneasy and mistrustful in the world? Have you been hiding in a safe spot, afraid to venture out because you're convinced that life and other people will disappoint you? Koala spirit has appeared to let you know that your faith is misplaced and the present safety you seek is already passing away because all things are temporary and outer, out, and outer conditions are always changing. Find your safety by placing your faith and trust in the spirit and who will grow the abundance that is already yours. Perhaps you are acting slowly and overly cautiously because of your lack of faith and there is more for you out there than what you know. You have boxed yourself into a safe place that has nothing else to give you and become so familiar with it that you have forgotten to explore. Are you feeling pessimistic and convinced that there is nothing more out there for you? Koala Spirit reminds you that self-care is meant to replenish you and give you the venture out again in faith trusting that there is no limit to the joy spirit wants you to experience be good to yourself and reconnect with spirit to reclaim your faith in things yet unseen so the law of the universe whatever you give to the universe if you're like i always use this if you're in a toxic relationship and you want out and you release that finally and you let that go, the universe will grant you with something even greater. So, number three, your personal power, self-worth, and how you show up in the world. You got koi fish spirit. Oh, you have 35 and 36 right next to each other. That's awesome. Okay. The koi fish who grows big within the small pond reminds us that within all of us is the potential for prosperity. The law of abundance ensures that prosperity is our natural state. So regardless of temporary outer conditions, you can call upon call in prosperity and magnetically attract the opportunities and abundance you need. The message of the koi fish spirit is to begin to generate within wealth within with deliberate intention, no matter how small your pond may seem and appreciate abundance wherever you see it. Outer, condition, outer conditions will come to reflect your inner prosperity. So begin to become the self who is comfortable and 
with wealth in all forms. Even if at that moment it feels like the riches are not yours, they will soon be. Start to envision the plenty of spirit wants you to experience, knowing that the moment that you begin to commit to your conscious and deliberate co-creating, spirit will joyfully start bringing you what you need. You have so much to offer and so much value to express to, into the world. In your little pond, there is so much you can create and much you can attract. Do not underestimate what you have and who you are, for koi fish wants you to know that you are exquisite, loved, and deeply cherished. Trust that your outer conditions are changing to reflect the truth. Okay, and that was three. Okay. So that's how you show up into the world and how you perceive yourself. So number four is deeper connection, deeper connections to life, healing past patterns and support for overall well-being and happiness. And you got the bat spirit and it is reversed, even though it doesn't look reversed in, <laughs> in this, it is reversed. So it's a protection message. What are you refusing to let die? That spirit is gently nudging you to let you go of your need to cling to the infamil or the familiar story that has already run its course. A new story is post poised to be born. Some dreams were only meant to last for the moment in time. Sometimes they are were only there to show you to slow down as you recalibrate in preparation for the new life that you were that you will give you what you really want perhaps you need to grieve as you say goodbye to something at least you're saying goodbye to a familiar form perhaps you must let go of that part of you and that must die so you can be reborn this temporary time in the dark doesn't have to be scary or sad though that spirit gives you her, her powers and perception and awareness as you learn and listen deeply and navigate these unknown caves temporary emptiness you will emerge with a new prospect perspective and that spirit will witness your giving birth to the life that matches your intention intentions and desires and heart and soul sorry so i was just getting something in with my intuition that um i will also be doing another reading for you christy with a different deck so just to let you know. All right, so that was for number four. Number five deals with communication, being heard, owning your voice, and how you say who you are to others. This one, this one cut deep into me. I was all like, oh my, that, I really do perceive myself as that. And that's something that I need to work on, especially this within the month. So you got wasp spirit. card deck and you're 64. Maybe. There we go. Not all that spirit creates in nature is easy to love, but when we look through the eyes of the wasp spirit, we recognize that even though sometimes life stings, there is a purpose for the pain, just as if the purpose for wasp and the nature in the natural world. Wasp keep in insect populations down, supporting the growth of plants. So too, the sting of life may hurt, and you may feel deeply disappointed or even resentful that wasp spirit has shown up, but will soon come to the sea that the spirit has something wonderful in store for you. You may well come to realize that being stung led to something far greater than what you envisioned for yourself. Perhaps beyond or behind the scenes, wasp spirit is conspiring to with the spirit to ensure that you grow could grow something in the value to you spirit has planned and the wasp spirit plays a part have you ever looked back into the glad your prayers weren't answered because the path you took led to something far better 
Wasp spirit is reminding, or yeah, reminder to reflect to those times. And today's sting may hurt, but something better does await for you. Okay. Number six, imagination, vision, and creativity. And you got the giraffe spirit into the protection form. Okay. Are you sticking your neck out too far, reaching too high instead of looking around to see the conditions on the ground? Your devotion to co-creating something new is admirable. Admir <laughs> I can't talk tonight. Admirable. But giraffe spirit is showing up to remind you that you have to look at the new at a whole picture and not just those tasty leaves at the top of the tree. Perspective is necessary now, and that means checking in with what is going on around you at your feet. Or perhaps you are ruminating over the worries of the world instead of paying attention to what you can do right now where you are. To bring about the changes in the world like you see. Align with the highest good and know that the perspective is important. Transformation begins where you are. Do not get up so far in, in the clouds thinking all the big problems that you lose perspective and forget to do your part. However small it may be to, uh, to start interacting, change for transformation begins within you. Okay. So I'm going to be doing a couple of decks for you. Well, I'm going to be doing this deck again, but in a different spread for you, too. So, the last one is intuition, spiritually, and your relationship to your higher good. And you have, oh, you have the groundhog spirit in the protection form. Yeah. Have you been relentless into your efforts to revive something that has passed its prime and that needs to die away a situation a relationship a belief or a habit that survived or served you once but no longer fills you with vitality perhaps you automatically expect to see the world through a specific lens based on familiar on the familiar the familiar groundhog spirit has appeared to let you know that it's time to accept the past as it is so allow yourself to feel the loss and grieve if you need to. Any sadness will last forever or overwhelm you. Knowing spirit is with you, wants to experience joy and excitement again, will help you through this transition from old to new. Keep your eyes open for winter always gives the spring endings. Feel and give birth to the beginnings for now. Let yourself feel your emotions, releasing them into the to make way for the joy that awaits you spring and new growth are on the, their way for the spirit's promise to you okay and that is what to really look for and expect over the next month for the new moon cycle okay so i'll go ahead and do the second one that i was thinking of that came to my mind um because the other one's also a seven card spread as well so I will do that here in just a little bit real fast. No. There we go. All right. So yep, okay, it's this one that I was looking for. that way okay 
in the end. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put those right there. Okay, so the first question is, what is in motion now? And you got this beetle spirit. And it's in the protection form. Do you doubt your in unique inner magic? Are you afraid that you have no obligation or creative juices? That don't flow through you perhaps you mistakenly believe that you're not the creative manifesting type Scar scarab beetle spirits message is that creativity is a living force that comes to all of us from the spirit who wants every person on the planet to manifest magic and co-create the new world anew you are as capable of resilience and innovation as anyone if you do not or if you do what you've always done you're going to get what you've always got so draw inspiration into being and begin to playfully create something new and do it without any judgment creativity and magic are your legacy as you exp as an expression of the creator so let them flow through you so that's what it's in motion now um what are the hidden underlying hidden influences here you've got vulture spirit in the oracle form and it says nothing is wasted oh, oracle what seems hideous as has its own beauty and recycling has repurposed repurposing the vulture does not and does is as important as any other create activity in nature that supports the cycle of life vulture spirits message is that nothing is to be wasted for nature sees value with everything that exists that is true what seems rotten and ugly has potential to be transmuted into something beneficial and you are reminded that you are that any suffering that you've experienced has not gone to waste wisdom and understanding that has arose from the experience and transmits that will serve you on this journey wherever you go what is decaying is only changing form and will fertilize seeds you wish to plant turning that which has passed away into the substance that will support new growth all that you might wish to deny is dis or discard has value and to be repurposed and reintegrated into a new you that has be that are you be into a new you that you are becoming into the new life that you are dreaming into being that's a wordful mouthful no pain was in vain and no experience was wasted for you had the power to use it to co-create something far better this is a miracle in your partnership with the spirit so that is the underlying hidden influences and the third one is what do i need to do now to remain on this course Oh, Lord. What do I need to do now to remain on this path or course cor correct to remain in the alignment with the highest good? And again, you got the groundhog spirit in. Did you get this? I think you did get this in the protection form, actually. get this in the protection form again yep okay i'll read it again anyways it's all good 
Have you been relentless in your efforts to revive something that has passed its prime and needs to die away? A situation, a relationship, a belief, or a habit that served you once but no longer fills with vitality? Perhaps you automatically expect to see the world through a specific lens based on familiar, familiar, again. Groundhog Spirit has appeared to you and that it's time to accept the past as the past. So allow yourself to feel loss and grieve if you need to. Any sadness will lo last forever, will not last forever, or overwhelm you. Knowing spirit is with you and wants to experience the joy and excitement again will help you through this transition from old to new. Keep your eyes open for the winter is always gives away to spring and endings always give birth to beginnings. For now, let yourself feel emotions, releasing them to make way to the joy that awaits you. Spring and new growth are on their way, for that is what the Spirit's promise is to you. So that is the two out of three readings that they want me to do for you. So I will make another video and I will show you that so i hope this helped you and i will talk to you later so next up we got summer so i've already shuffled i'm gonna clear for you okay. and we will get started hardest part. Wouldn't be that hard if I didn't have such a slick surface. Put the cards on. Okay. So, one. Oh, I think I've drew that one for you before. Okay. So the first one is survival, money, tangible assets, and work. And you got the buffalo spirit in the protection form. Buffalo Spirit visits you in the message of protection. He is asking you to shift your thinking from poverty consciousness to one where you trust the universe will provide. Have you been falling into financial insecurity, worrying that there will be nothing? In Ooh. This definitely has something to do with money. Have you ever fallen into financial insecurity, worrying that there will be not enough money for you in the future? Have you been stressing and feeling sorry for yourself, worrying that because of no, you have no ro romantic relationship right now, you will have never have one? Do you have see secrecy uh, where there is, in fact, abundance? Are you comparing yourself to others or falling short? Self pity, entitlement, fear, and lack of are all thought viruses that seduce you into darkness. Buffalo Spirit nudges you to make a gratitude list and mindful of your thoughts and at this time. Even if our outer events have helped and challenged your beliefs into the abundance, outer conditions are temporary. If you are suffering from the 
malaise, ma, ma, I can never pronounce that. I could never do it. A fear that you are impoverished. Realize that it is only poverty of perception and perspective. Prayer, communion, and the high, with your higher power and gratitude coupled of compassion, selfless service and will snap you right out of it. Give to someone that has less than you. Be thankful for the tiniest things and say affirmations. Then you will remember abundance that is true nature of the world. Oh, okay. I don't know why I just closed that. That's number one, though. Number two, intimate relationships, family dynamics, friendships, and your tribe. You got the pig spirit in the oracle form, nonetheless. And that's 47. Pig spirit appears to remind you that the right use of intelligence, a gift we all have meant to be used with love, compassion, and discern discernment. Intelligence remain or means recognizing the value of intuition partnered with the smarts and common sense, which leads to intelligent solutions. When pig spirit appears, you are called to respect in your analytical mind and use it for the highest good. Recognizing that all facts must be considered even when they do not fit into what you already know. Spirit blesses us with wisdom, with randomness. I don't know why I was about to say that. Blesses us with wisdom when we allow pig spirit to nudge us with open-minded, thoughtful dialogues, whether with others or internally as we mull over our ideas and what we have come to understand. You are intelligent and capable of clear-minded thinking shaped by wisdom and have accumulated an intuition that will tell you when you have more learning to do because not all the facts are in. Now is the time to, for that your decision-making powers are reliable. For you are in alignment with the pig spirit, it's king intelligence. Okay, that's that. Number three, your personal power, self-worth, and how you show up in the world. You got crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. As you look around, can you sense the magic that pulses through the world? Have you witnessed how every thought can become a thing? How every intention can call the universe into action as the sacred laws shape as the sacred laws shape what you experience? The universe works in perfect order. When you align your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs in the spirit, you will want the crow to delight feeling the incitement, excitement, and wonder of being in harmony with something much larger than yourself. Crow Spirit says that you are on the right, right on target and that your dreams magically will come or er, now to see your dreams magically come into being into a visible world. The law of abundance, compensation, frequency and praise are operating in your favor now. Remember and to be grateful and praise what is yours, even if you are collapsing into form still residing into invisible realms of co-creation no matter what your area of life you're concerned with now what your hope for is on the way the spirit is your co-creation partner that was your personal power self-worth and how you show up in the world uh number four is deeper connections to life healing past patterns and support for overall well-being and happiness and you got the peacock spirit in the protection form. And it says, let it shine. Let's see. Are you afraid of dancing in an abandon? Are you afraid of dancing with abandon because of what others might think? Do you think that you may be punished if you shine too brightly? Have you ever been conditioned to expect to be hurt if you show yourself and fully into the world? Maybe not everyone will celebrate your beautiful radiance when you shine. 
that is okay. Peak Talk Spirit is here to remind you that while others may resist celebrating the beauty within them, although we may contract while we expand, you shake your tail feathers, smile, and keep dancing anyway. Model for good fortune and abundant joy that is yours. And soon someone will say, me too, and join you. Spirit loves you so much and wants you to enjoy the dance in your sh and shine in your light. I actually got that one too. It's great. I love it. Love it. All right, number five. Communication, being heard, owning your voice, and saying and how to say who you are to others. You got the whale spirit in the protection form. Oh, there we go. 65. Almost. Okay, we were almost there. Just one more page. There we go. Certainty is not offered to you right now. You are being asked to trust the process of co-creation. Whale Spirit reminds you that your primary re re real I can't talk tonight. Reality is not with the material world, but the realm of the spirit for which your essence of your dreams and desires takes shape before arriving in the specific form. You must trust absolutely that you will come to your highest good. Stay in your present moment awareness and allow your hidden realms to hold your intuition, intentions, intuitions. Well, that's still Intentions safely until, until the, it is time for them to manifest into the realm of form. Let go for what you will not be left behind. Some things take longer than others to arrive. Okay, number six is imagination, vision, and creativity. Got the turkey spirit in the protection form. 61. Oh man, I was almost there. Oh good. Oh good. In the protection form. Are you giving in order to receive in kind keeping tally of how much you have given and what is owed to you? This is not the way to experience abundance. They told me this about a year ago. Not gonna lie. When Turkey Spirit is in the protection position, it is a reminder to let go of any perception as, and of sick secrecy of or fear that you give too much and will not have enough for yourself. Use the spiritual practices to reconnect with the spirit and remember how it feels to embody abundance and you will give as much as you are needed right now. Know that whenever you need to fill your stores and coming to you right now, love, prosperity, knowledge, and assistance from allies who are everywhere and want you to have the abundance you seek. Turkey Spirit is not here to tell you that everything evens out when you are aligned with the laws of abundance. As spirit wants you to be, abundance is yours. Okay. And then last one. Intuition, spiritually, and relationship to the higher power. We got turtle spirit. This is the one I told you that I drew earlier for you. In the past, so. Turtle Spirit arrives to remind you that when you do what you need to do, putting one foot in front of the other and trusting that you will see your intentions manifest. Hold on. In perfect timing, your prosperity and love will grow exponentially. Now is not the time to rush around trying to force matters. Move slowly, perhaps even so slowly that it feels like as if you're not moving at all. This will not be a time, or this may be a time for crawling before walking, taking your time to align to the turtle spirit's place as a con contemplate, contemplate this road that you are on, doing what you need to do in the small moment that you will soon pass. Turtle spirit reminds you that sometimes the best action is to slow right down as if it feels like you're not doing enough. Know that simply being aware of what is happening right now may be important step toward determining whether you need to pivot or simply put 
keep putting one foot in front of the other. True love and true success comes with patience, says the turtle spirit. Focus on now and the next step will be clear. And that is what to expect this month with the new moon circling tonight. So I will catch you later. Alex, you are my last person for the new moon cycle reading. So I have already shuffled the cards. I am going to clear the deck and we'll get started on pulling some cards. my gym. Where did it go? Got it. Okay. only have one card in the protection position which is very good so first one it involves survival money tangible assets and work and you got the sandpiper spirit Sandpipers are like cute little clowns poking their beaks into the sand before darting off to chase the waves. The appearance of the sandpiper spirit is to sign is a sign that it is now time to engage your playfulness. Whatever your tasks you have before you, perform them with the lightness of being. Explore the familiar, discovering the new and old. Who knows what the treasures await for you and when you let yourself laugh and have fun. Sandpiper spirit, happy and curious nature will help you feel rejuvenated as you remember your ability to run, fly, and dance playfully. And that is the first one. Number two, it involves intimate relationships, family dynamics, friendships, and your tribe. And this is the rabbit spirit in the protection position. So, vulnerability is required to you now, and even if you don't feel safe, act as if you trust that you will be okay and soon you will see that you are okay. To create is to take risks, so it is fortunate, fertile time, banish your fears, and recognize that real security is immersing yourself into the process of co-creation. It's okay to admit that you really don't know how to deal with whatever is in front of you. This is where curiosity and not knowing can be wonderful state of mind. Be playful now, admitting that you are in the beginning of something. Come on and out into the phronic and sun's naturing, nurturing light because it's time to birth something new. And then 
that was dealing with intimate relationships and family and friendships. Number three, your personal power, self-worth, and how you show up to, into the world. You've got eagle spirit. Think of the eagles flying high above other birds, soaring in the wind. Eagle Spirit has appeared to ask whether you're willing to soar to new heights, even if you're mean solitude for a short while. Truly, all of the wisdom in the world is available to you. When storms flash across the sky, it's an eagle spirit that raises you above it all, helping you in to conquer fear and overcome adversity, reminding you that spirit has your back and wants you to experience life in its fullest. At this moment, you are meant to to know that you are at the highest of your wisdom and courage within, gifted to you by the spirit and all of your angels. Boldly build your nest in a lofty, pla lofty place and know that you can fly effortlessly, proudly embodying, embodying eagle spirit into your glory and grace, claiming what is truly yours into a divine timing. So there are some days I just need to do these readings earlier. <laughs> All right, so there's that. 40 or 46. Number four is deeper connections to life, healing past patterns, and support for overall well being and happiness. You got the peacock spirit. When was the last time you shook your tail feather and shined? your light for all to see. Within each of us is the peacock spirit yearning for expression, and you are called to show the world your gorgeous creature. You are, for you are manifestation of spirit. Come out of the shadows. Peacock spirit says that now and to show that your true colors so that you others may be inspired to express their own uniqueness. Dance as if you remember that you are made of stardust and grace, filled with life force energy and sparkling light. You are a channel for divine love, and your dance is one of a kind. Catch the light and help to, it to shimmer, and dance in its celebration of your good fortune of being right here, right now. Spirit wants you to be joyful so that others may get up and dance along with you. Okay. Number five is communication her or communication being heard, owning your voice, and how you say who you are to others. This is an important one to listen to because mine was spot on to where I was hearing it. And I was like, oh my goodness, I do need to do that. And I do need to work on that for myself for this, at least for the next month. I at least, you know, the spirits wanted me to know what to work on. So with that being said, you have the seahorse spirit. Hovering gracefully, the seahorse observes with the perspective of one who is not engulfed in the drama remaining at the distance for all the from all the turbulence. The seahorse spirit appears to you at this time to remind you of the need to be neutral and gain perspective. Your message from the seahorse spirit is not my circus, not my monkeys. I actually had my old boss tell me that, that that's her life motto. It's great. I, I love it. I love it. My spirit wants, or spirit wants you to know that even though you are tempted to jump into the fray and tray, and tray, try to fix things, the best way to serve yourself and others right now is to remain calm and simply watch and see. Another message here is that whenever your query seahorse spirit asks you to step back from it, be willing to explore from a different angle rather than one single angle and just observe what is possible. From the perspective of the position of the neutral observer, you will discover a opportunity and a deeper understanding to what you seek and why and you will know the beauty, know the beauty, truth, and wisdom, and love. Okay, and that was five. 
six is imagination, vision, and creativity. And you have number one, the ant spirit. <clears throat> when the ant spirit comes to visit, it's time to celebrate benefits of working in partnership with others as part of the community or tribe. Spirit reminds you that to build your dream, you need to work with others, accept help, and trust that the most important partnership is the one that you have with spirit. Your intentions will become the fruitation of if you remain awakened and focus on co-creating your reality with others and with spirit. Remember that the world around you, it can easily seduce you if you don't have some sort of practice or discipline, like meditation to keep you on track as you build with the life and you desire. Connecting others will have the accountability partners can be very helpful and it's unlikely that everyone will fall asleep at the same time. The other message Ant Spirit holds is that, the, that you are now at an auspicious time to ask for help and receive it. Whether you need help assembling a team, finding a new tribe, or requesting assistance from others you, who are there for you, everything is working to support you right now. Okay, and that was number six, imagination, vision, and creativity. Number seven, the last one is intuition, spiritually, and relationship to a higher power. You have the whale spirit. Well, spirit is an ancient creature who is here in the beginning of time and who has seen everything, felt everything, and heard everything that has been transpired on this planet. In the hidden realms where all things must gather first before manifesting into form, whale spirit is the keeper singing the soul of the whole, for the whole world from the deepest waters of the coldest seas. When the whale spirit appears, it is a reminder that the great mystery that you must accept without intellectually trying to understand it. Some things cannot be known by the mind, only experienced through the heart, through intuition, and through the peripheral senses that part your invisible veils, separating the visible world from the great manifesting consciousness. In the hidden realms, now is the time for you to immerse yourself in the great mystery of spirit and to trust that with, invis in, with the invisible, what you can't see now are the seeds to your intentions being tended to now by your angels. And that kind of relates back to what we've talked about in the last couple of days, Alex. So, yeah. So, again, like I've told everybody, just uh, this is for the new moon that has started today and it will go for the next month. So kind of just be on lookout for all these that we've talked about today. And I will talk to you a little later.